Oh, I don't know. Stop you and your pen, friends. Knew all your lies and get into trouble one day. Did you have to tell her you was the jet-setting playboy son of a millionaire grazier? Mm. <laughs> well, I didn't think we'd ever meet, mate. Now she's flying down from Adelaide with her mother and brother to check me out. Yeah, well, it's just as well we had my pad to do up flesh. If she'd seen that dump you live in, she'd wake up straight away. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, mate. You reckon we can still fool them? Yeah, just a couple more touches. Hang that in the wall. Mm. Was you supposed to be a grazier son, remember? Mm. Millionaire grazier son, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Anthony. And a polo player. Mm. So stick that in your pocket, it'll give you a horsey smell. <laughs> <laughs> you said her old man was very big on animals and stuff, right? Mm, yeah. He's um, Sir Reginald... Dunstan Brown, mate. He's the patron for the Royal Society for the Preservation of Wildlife. Ah, oh, well, he'll love this. A genuine stuffed owl. Oh, <laughs> beautiful, mate. It's a wonderful thing, preserving wildlife, isn't it, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a really beautiful stuffed owl once, mate. It had a rat in its claws, you know, a stuffed rat in its claws with luminous eyes that glowed in the dark. It's really classy. Yeah. What's the first thing you do when you go into a stranger's house mm. and sit on their lounge? Dive your hand down the back to see if there's any loose change. <laughs> <laughs> Dead right, boy. So you're supposed to be a millionaire's son, so whack plenty of change down. Mm. <laughs> Just in, mate. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> don't forget, I'm the family retainer mm. and your personal valet. Mm. Okay. Come on. Oh, it looks beautiful, mate. It's good a purse to lend it to you. <laughs> uh, I'll get the door, sir. <laughs> the Dunstan Browns. It's the Dunstan Brown, sir. <laughs> what? The master. Mm. Welcome to my eccentric playboy abode. <laughs> Miss Penelope, I presume. Charmed. Mm, <laughs> Lady Dunstan Brown, and I'm Penelope's brother, Anthony. It's a pleasure. Well, um, cocktail time, Rupert. <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Would your guests prefer uh, local or imported wine, sir? Oh, uh, well, actually, we're patriots. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a Mount Pleasant Elizabeth, would you? The master's favourite. Hey, super. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'll be seated. Ah, uh, South Australia. <laughs> Home of fine wines and the old pie floater. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Penelope tells me you're a polo player. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like the start of a game, is there? Up on the horse. Hockey one, hockey two, hockey three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I myself enjoy a good vigorous chucker. <laughs> Yeah, me too, especially after a feed of Chinese. <laughs> oh, skis. Do you still ski competitively? Mm, of course. Uh, Slaynham? Mm? Slaynham? No, no, I'll, I'll stick to the old Winfield thing. <laughs> All right, it's tucker time, uh, cocktail time. Here you go. Nice plate of hundreds and thousands of sandwiches. <laughs> no, don't worry, you'll get some love. <laughs> don't wolf it down yet this morning. <laughs> Hang on a minute, the coopy grass. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> Beautiful spread, Rupert. Yes, sir. It's so hard to find um, good help these days, laddie. Don't some brown. It certainly is. <laughs> the family was fortunate in being able to uh, lure Rupert here away from Cole's cafeteria. <laughs> oh, I just don't, don't guts that down for a minute. Uh, some caviar here. Mm, caviar. We eat it here all the time. <laughs> Must be off. Smells like fish. <laughs> Well, I'd say it's pretty tired, though. Look here. Let's not beat about the bush. If you're as well to do as you claim in your letters to Penelope, then why are you living in this hovel? In such a dwab, a low class neighbourhood. Well, oh, uh, yeah. uh, oh, well, uh, see, Sir's an eccentric, you see. Mm. That's why he likes to associate with the, the common people. Mm, common people. Oh, well, that's why all those crates of bottles are in the front yard, then. Oh, no, they're me dad's. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said your father was a grazier. Mm, um, grazier and bottle <laughs> bottle Oh, how degrading. Oh, to think we came all this way. Quite frankly, I personally find it very hard to believe that anyone with breeding would live in this dump. Bloody. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, well, you see, like I said, sir, is an eccentric, you see. Why else would a high-class gentleman like this live in a, a hovel like this, you know? He's slumming, that's why he's in this no. um, dump. Uh, Hold it a sec, Hags. If we're deciding whom's fit to knock around with whom, well, I've already decided, haven't I, mate? Eat your cocktail frankfurts and get out. <laughs> Of a bitch. Condom, mate. <laughs> no, mate. As soon as they started criticising your house, they'd gone too far. Come along, children. Excuse us. Excuse us. Goodbye. I just hope we didn't catch anything. Come on, Anthony. Thanks, son. Mm. That was sick. Okay, mate. Oi! <laughs> oh! Left hook. <laughs> right up the cut. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't worth the trouble, son. But listen, plenty of pebbles on the beach. Mm. I was just thinking, there's this new Sheila working down at McDonald's. Mm. He's got the best set you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? We go down there, grab a cheeseburger, and watch her hanging over the microwave oven for a while. <laughs> <laughs>